Nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. None. Nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. I decided to roast some of the bloggers that's on the internet right now. It's no disrespect to these guys. I got respect for these guys in some form or fashion. But I felt like roasting these guys because I motherfucking can. And because I thought it would be funny. Because some of these guys, I see their pictures, I hear them, and I just start laughing to myself. So I decided to share it with y'all. This ain't no form or fashion of me trying to hate on them, me trying to be them. None of that corny shit that y'all trolls be saying in the, book, in the comments. Let's start with this dude named Carcino. Carcino for life on YouTube. Now, what would the fuck that mean? Carcino for life. I guess my name should be Bands for life. That make a whole lot of fucking sense, don't it? But anyway, this nigga is ugly, man. You know, first and foremost, let's just get that out of the way. This nigga is ugly. Every dude is ugly to me, but this nigga right here is a special type of ugly, man. Ugly than a motherfucker. And I don't know what the fuck he be filming with. That shit be grainy. He be looking out terrible. The quality be bad. Ten minutes of every video, he laughing and chuckling and shit. Look like he be shooting that shit with a fucking Nokia, man. I don't know what the fuck he filming with. But, man, hey, obviously a lot of people like it because he got a lot of fucking subscribers, man. I bet they're a bunch of old heads, man. And I bet the other niggas is on there just on there to laugh at his crazy ass. But this nigga always acting like he the fly on the wall. The truth behind this. The truth behind that. How about the truth behind your age, you old motherfucker? Looking like you 50, 60 years old. You probably in your damn 30s, but it's hard to tell. You bird, man, knockoff looking motherfucker. You like one of those type of motherfuckers that'll go to the, to the block. Buy a fucking prostitute that cost $20 and give her 60 He be like, baby, you did more for me than any other bitch in my life. I'm going to give you 40 extra more dollars. You sound like one of them type of niggas that are going to give him a little young thotty. You know what I'm saying? This bitch on Section 8, she getting food stamps, all that. But he don't know it because he's stupid as fuck. He paying rent. He buying food. He doing all this shit. Ain't fucked. Ain't stayed. They ain't did nothing. He's like one of them type of niggas. And every time he talk to her on the phone, he talk shit about her baby daddy. Oh, cop blocking ass nigga. Just look at this nigga. He like one of them type of niggas be trying to block you from getting some pussy. Girl, you do not want to fuck with him. Girl, that nigga be fucking this. That nigga be doing that. That nigga be doing that. And one thing about these cop blocking ass niggas, when you cop block, that bitch want to fuck that nigga even more. Not that you don't cop block. You know what I'm saying? So I seem like one of them type of niggas that... If you work with him on your job, he's the type of motherfucker to be telling you how to do your motherfucking job. Y'all got the same fucking title. He ain't your supervisor, but he's trying to tell you what the fuck you need to be doing because he's been working there 20 years. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't do it the way he wants you to do it, he's snitching on you and shit. But he all in your face smiling and shit. I want them fake motherfuckers. But snitching on you behind your goddamn back. He seem like one of them type of dudes that if you was in a group, if you was doing something and he the only nigga among white people, he want to be the only nigga in the room. He'll get you up out of there. He'll be with the white folks calling you stupid and all this old shit. But as soon as he get with you, he sitting with us telling you, hey, man, you better watch out, man. They watching you, man. They doing this. They doing that. Oh, snake ass nigga. Look at this nigga, man. Ugly motherfucker. Somebody tell me how old this nigga is, man. I'm, I'm like real curious of how old this nigga is, man. Him and his motherfucking Nokia. You know, and this nigga, I always mention DJ Academics. Oh, Lord. This nigga mentioned DJ Academics like he like he, like he, he took part in making that nigga. Like he took part in, in, in fucking the nigga mama and, he, and DJ Academics is his son or some shit. That nigga stay on DJ Academics dick. Man, every time some shit pop up, that nigga be mentioning DJ Academics. 30 minute fucking video and 10 minutes of the video he fucking laughing and shit Garcino just look like one of them type of motherfuckers that you just don't want to be around for a long fucking time you know what I'm saying I bet he rolled solo ain't nobody hanging with this clown too fucking long I bet he rolled solo and a lot of y'all be like Garcino take your profile picture now that nigga is not taking that goddamn profile picture now cause that nigga think he cool in that picture fake ass watch on fake ass go that nigga think he cool in that goddamn picture oh ugly ass nigga <laughs> yeah man but this nigga think he cool this picture man I take a break if I was laughing too much man man he think he look at him man this nigga think he's sharp than a motherfucker man you gonna sit your corny ass down man and you know niggas they keep pictures when they don't look that like that no more this nigga don't look shit like I don't even know that's him he don't even look like this goddamn picture no more, nigga. That might be that nigga cousin or brother or something, nigga. But y'all can go and hang it up, though. That nigga is not taking this picture down. Hell, you might copyright my fucking video because I'm talking about him. Oh, country-ass nigga. Yeah, man, but this is my five-minute rant on Carcino, man. Like I said, man, it's just comedy, you know. 
But if he take it as disrespect, fuck it. Take it how you want. Take it out. But I got respect for him, man. He, he doing this thing when there's no kill, man. He got all his subscribers, man. You know, he doing this thing, man. And y'all like that shit he putting out there, man. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? He got way more subscribers than I do. It's not because the nigga better. Let's put it like that. Not because he better. Because he been doing it a little bit longer. And I respect the hustle. But Carcino. I'm going to need you to get together, bro, or leave it the fuck alone. You're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>